Hello, this is Amy Guerin for CaptureTheConversation.com. Capture the Conversation specializes in smart internet marketing. We bring web development, search engine marketing, social media, and public relations together like no one else can. The name of this video tutorial is Dig Basics. What is Dig? Well, Dig's a free online community where members share news stories, blog posts, videos, podcasts, and other kinds of important online content that they consider interesting, fun, or significant. The more times an item gets recommended, or dug, the higher it gets ranked on Dig. If it gets really popular, it can end up on Dig's home page. Why use Dig? Here are the benefits. The immediate benefit is that Dig helps keep you current. Dig is a cutting-edge source for learning what's hot or important in areas of interest to you. It's also valuable for competitive intelligence, spotting market trends, and so on. This benefit may seem kind of mundane, but it can be surprisingly important because the key to benefiting from Dig is to learn how to enjoy and value it for what it is. Remember, Dig is a community, not a marketing channel. You'll get out of it what you put into it and probably a great deal more. That said, Dig can offer marketing and PR benefits too. Attracting attention. When your content or content that mentions you or your organization gets popular on Dig, you can expect large traffic spikes, more inbound links, and other effects that offer residual long-term benefits. Become more findable. Consider Dig part of your search visibility program. Dig gets indexed daily by search engines like Google. If your content is ranked highly on Dig, that usually improves how you rank in search engine results. Gain influence. When you routinely and actively participate in Dig, not just to promote yourself, but to offer value to that community, people will start to notice your areas of expertise and follow your lead. Okay, let's get started. First, you want to set up your free account with Dig. On the Dig homepage, you'll see a link in the top right corner, Join Dig. Click that link. That takes you to the registration page. Once there, you'll need to choose a username. This is pretty important, so think it over carefully. Your username has to be between 4 and 15 letters or numbers, no spaces, and it's case sensitive. If you want to use Dig to enhance your reputation in a specific field, your username can reflect that. For instance, among other things, I cover sustainable energy news. I have a real passion for this topic. So let's try the username Energy Geek and see whether it's available. Yay, it's available! Next, you have to provide a working email address. This address cannot be used by any other DIG member. Or the rest of the registration process is pretty standard. Once you submit that form, DIG will send you a confirmation email. But while you're waiting for that, it just takes a few seconds to get that email, it's a good idea to start filling out your DIG profile. Remember, one reason to use DIG is to gain influence, and people are more likely to be willing to be influenced by you if they know a few things about you. Trust builds community. So before you check your email, fill out and submit this quick form. Okay, here's that DIG confirmation message in my email. I'm clicking the link to confirm my account, and that's it. I now have a dig account. An item. How to dig a story. Now the simplest way is to dig a story that's already been done. Any item that's already on dig has a dig it link. Just click that and you'll see the number of digs update immediately. Notice that that then changes to dug. You can't dig the same item more than once. Now say you're reading one of your favorite online news sources such as maybe Green Car Journal. Okay, well that's one of my favorite sites. Anyway, there's a cool story there about a new hybrid sedan from Toyota. I think this story is worth digging. To dig this story, I first copy the story's URL right up there in the location bar of the browser. Then, in a separate browser tab, I open dig.com. Now, I go up into the search field in the corner and I paste the story's URL into the search field. The reason I do that first is I want to check whether anybody else has already dug that story. In this case, nope, I'm the first person to dig this story. That's cool. I click back to the Dig home page, and then I click the Submit a New Story link. Then I paste the story's URL into the field, Where is this story from? And when you hit Continue, you'll be taken to the Submit Story page. 
on the submit a story form you want to enter the story title. Now if the blog post or article's original headline makes sense out of context and really gets to the so what of the story, you can just copy and paste that. But otherwise, if the headline wouldn't work on its own, write a new headline that makes sense out of context and that implies why this story matters. It can be up to 75 characters that include spaces. For this story, the original headline was Toyota Camry Hybrid. Well, that's kind of bland. So I augmented it with Toyota Camry Hybrid 2007, affordable. That says what it's about and why I think it matters. Next, you want to write a brief description about the news story. Now that can be up to 350 characters, including spaces. Put a little thought into this. The point is to explain what's so interesting, important, or fun about this story in a way that might get other dig readers interested. But don't just blindly grab the lead of the story. It might not work well for dig. Here's how I summed up this story. For 2007, Toyota debuted a hybrid version of its top-selling sedan, the Camry, for $25,900. This is a quick rundown of its key features, engine type, transmission, electrical system efficiency, etc. In contrast to the performance-oriented Honda Accord hybrid, Toyota is hoping that today's buyers will like this car's efficiency-minded balance. Notice that Dig will check your spelling, too, if you like. Next, you want to pick a topic. Just one. Try to find the best fit you can. It's not always easy. Their categories are, I find them kind of uh, amorphous. But in this case, I think environment is a better fit than business and finance. Finally, do the CAPTCHA test, prove you're human, and submit the story. But wait! Other people have dug similar stories. Dig wants to make sure yours isn't a duplicate. I'm looking it over, and nope, my story isn't listed there. So I'll go ahead and submit it. Now some news sites or blogs make it easy for you to dig their stories. They include a dig this link with every posting. One such site is Renewable Energy Access. Now over here, this looks like an interesting story. In fact, I know it is. I already read it. If you look down into the left hand sidebar, you see where it says recommend this story. Let's click on the dig option there. You get taken to Dig, logged into your account, and the story URL is already in the Submit Story form. You just need to fill in the rest. That brings us to the next point. You can and should encourage people to dig your content. The easiest way to do this is to install a tool on your website that posts a Dig This Story link on every item you publish. Now that you've gotten a basic overview of Dig and how it works, here's a few tips. 1. Make posting a habit. Try to dig at least once or twice a day. 2. Read Dig Daily. Try, at least for a while, making it your first stop when you need a news fix. 3. Leave comments. This is a community, so participate in conversations. Thanks for listening to this video tutorial on Dig Basics. Please visit CaptureTheConversation.com for more video tutorials. Feel free to contact us to suggest topics for future tutorials. Also, don't miss our reports in our Capture the Conversation blog, which tells you how to make the most out of online marketing and conversational media. Again, this is Amy Guerin for Capture the Conversation. Thanks.